What's going on guys? Vic Vibby back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, my dealer hit me up. He goes, Vic man, we got a new Pandora box in. 26,000 games. Arcade 30S. S, 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 S. Let's take a look. 26,000 games. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm Joe for not following me on all the socials. What are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. Click the link tree down below. Like, subscribe. I don't care about the bell. But <laughs> what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me on all the socials. Tis the season hitting hard. Yes. Holiday season means holiday orders. Um, man, uh, it's kind of crazy. It was like Black Friday was like a couple of messages and then Cyber Monday hit and everybody's like, I need an arcade cabinet for Christmas. Um, it'll go into details on why I have this. Basically though, to come, uh, and if you did see my Instagram little story I wrote, uh, I think I even put it on YouTube. Um, I have a box, an old friend box known as GRS, yes. Uh, I'll probably take you in my hands real quick before we start this. Uh, I right now just finished artworks on, on a shooter cabinet that I'm so happy for, but I don't wanna show you guys too much of it. Um, so I'll probably put you in my hands now. I basically have coming up five two player control panels and one curve panel from GRS. Again, with those builds, came this whole thing with this Pandora box. I'm gonna show you. I, I really don't wanna show you guys the shooter cabinet, but I just laid artwork on it and <laughs> wait till you see that one. I know you guys are gonna hate me. I haven't done this in a long time. We're going into selfie mode. I do wanna do this on purpose because I don't want this to show too much, but oh man, it's just, it, it looks great. I can't, <laughs> I can't wait to show you guys this 55 inch shooter cabinet i'll show you that's 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 it but basically what i was saying was that there it is we have a, i believe it's like five or six i have um coming up i have basically five of these two player pedestals and then i have the one curve coming up um we're gonna do like i'm gonna do a separate video on that but basically i haven't done this in a long time um basically <laughs> basically though I, I can't show you the cabinet stop looking at it Basically though, what I'm doing is that um, those builds, they're all Pandora box builds. Again, Cyber Monday hit. I had a ton of like, hey, I need an arcade cabinet for Christmas as a Christmas gift. And I was like, you ain't gonna be looking at a PC-based system, number one, it's way too short of a notice. That's when I use Game Room Solutions because they usually take about a week to two weeks to kind of finalize a cabinet, send it to me. Um, and it's also a great way for me to, I guess, save the customer money by offering a Game Room Solutions cabinet. So stay tuned for that. On this one, we're gonna be talking about this Pandora box. So like I was saying, basically for these holiday things, they're not people that are on the wait list. This is really kind of a quick way for me to, you know, make some of the green real quick. It doesn't really take too much time. Again, all these are Pandora-based systems. Now, I do have a dealer, distributor, I get, you know, it's not really my dealer, it's just, I basically have somebody on eBay that I constantly use. And um, it's actually one or two people that I use because I ordered this and then I order it again. And anyway, I have like two people that I always use and it's always great that uh, basically they have the option to like make an offer and I make an offer and I write in the message like, hey, I've used you before. And then they kind of see like, oh yes, you are right. You have used me before. But basically I always like my 18S Pros. That's the main, one that I love. I have not had any headaches, knock on wood. Nobody has told me, hey Vic, I don't know what happened, this Pandora box died on me. I've never had that with the 18S Pro. It's got banger games, not so much, it's got like PSP emulation on it and such. So, as I was getting ready to order my 18S Pros, the same seller had this. This thing was a Pandora box, 26,000 games, and I'm like, damn. 26,000 games, that's a lot of games. <laughs> Going from 8,000 games to 26,000 games. Granted, yes though, I knew what I was getting into. 
Um, I definitely knew it. I want to make sure that I'm on the right input for my TV. I will basically talk. I really don't like to give you my back, but that will happen here. Um, but yes, 26,000 games. Oh, everyone's like, what? Even I was like, what? I have to see what it is. Five, the four, the three, two, one. Enjoy life with quality. <laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Pandora Plus. On the panel here, it says Arcade 30S. Uh, I'm actually, it's kind of crazy. These usually get shipped with joysticks on. They actually now have like detachable entire joysticks. I should say they take the ball top off, but you basically just screw this in. If you know me and I've made my videos, I only take the guts out of these things. I never use the joysticks and the buttons. They're, per, they're pure crap. But basically, if I go to the left here, correction, 26,800 games. Now, I mean, for me, I was like, whoa. You know, again, in this kind of realm, everybody's like, I want the most games that I could get. So going from 8,000 games to 26,000 games, I'm like, oh shit, that's quite a jump. Granted, though, I know Pandora Box. Uh, and we're going to probably do it real quick here. I only had this on for about 10 minutes. Within that 10 minutes, I actually contacted the seller and I was like, I have to return these. And I do say the word these, cause I bought three of them. <laughs> I have like five or six, but I bought three of them because as I bought those, then another three orders came in. I literally have three, like brand new, uh, wrapped still in the box. Uh, I wanna make sure it doesn't show my address. Yeah, these are there, there you go. This is two, and then I got the one underneath you, three of these. Um, yeah, so glad I opened up one and I'm glad I kind of powered it on. I just wanted to test it. I usually look for main games that like people, oh, me personally, I'm kind of used to my 18s pro has like, you know, the first page, it kind of shows the PSP. So I've seen like Tekken, I forgot which version of Tekken, but it's the PSP version. Basically when it launched with this and it started with the King of Fighters, I'm like, oh crap, this is not like my regular 18S Pro. Now granted, the advertisement wasn't 18S Pro. I did take a gamble on this. Um, you know, I just thought it was a newer Pandora and who's gonna turn out 26,000 games? Uh, it looks great on Facebook ads and such that it's 26,000 games. Uh, again though, granted it is a Pandora box, so you will have several thousand clones and copies and Street Fighter 2. Uh, Champion Edition, we already have here two, four, six, seven of them and such. That was a given. Uh, basically though, the one thing I did look up was Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I'll save you the spoiler. It does not have that. My 18S Pro does have that. And once I kind of saw that, I was like, uh-uh, this is not gonna work. This is not what I want. Again, I'm shooting this on the fly because I have to package this thing and get it out. I don't like it, but um, I don't want to shoot it down just yet. I have not tested this, but basically what I saw as far as potential on this, this may, and we're going to do it together because like I said, I only powered this thing off for 10 minutes. This may actually be better than the Pandora Box DX. Look at that menu real quick. When I press start, it is actually the Pandora Box DX menu. What am I getting with that? If you see my other past videos, it has the three and the four player options. And I believe it's got more three and four player games than the DX. This has right now 106 three and four player games. I don't know how many the DX has, but once I saw that, I was like, wait a minute, maybe I could use this as far as anybody that's inquiring about a four player uh, arcade cabinet. Um, again, if you see my other, you know, go to my, my videos for the Pandora box DX review, it is missing like NBA jam. I'm going to try to find that now as far as four player games, I doubt this has NFL blitz and such, but basically what I'm getting at is that this might actually be a killer of the Pandora box DX. Now we'll do it real quick. Number one, the number one requested game I always get for my four players is NBA jam. Uh, so let's just see what this comes up with. I remember on the DX, it was the N64 version. Uh, not N64. It was the Super Nintendo version. We have Tournament Edition. Just judging by the video preview, 
That is like Super Nintendo. Um, NBA Live 95. Let's just do Tournament Edition. I could already tell from that video. It is probably going to be the Super Nintendo version. Uh, I'm going to also just go back to the four player. Uh, it's only a couple. Yeah, no. Maybe actually, no. Let's see. It's all about that intro. 1994. Nope. This is... You could say it, it's either the NES or the Super NES. I would assume it's the Super NES version of it. Um, so there you go. NBA Jam is not there. Bulls versus Blazers. NBA Showdown 94. Uh, NHL. No. Like I said, let me just make my life easy. Let's go to the three and four player. A shitload of Cadillacs and Dinosaurs as always. Hook. Knights of the Round. Alien versus Predator. My main thing, so many Knights of the Valor. My main thing right now, and I'm going to take a quick jab at Game Room Solutions on this. I, I can't. I, I, I'm mind blown, flabbergasted, but I don't want to say something just yet. Uh, no, this does not have NBA Jam still. Hit the ice. That's a four, well, it's a four player. We're going to actually load it up and all that. Yeah, so as far as the sport games for four player, there is no NBA Jam. You're not going to have... NFL Blitz on this and such. Anyway, the main thing that I want to do for this video, because it, again, the way I'm seeing it right now, this is a killer to the Pandora Box DX, but before I really make that official, I have to load up four players. Uh, so basically we have the two arcade sticks and then with GRS and making a quick jab at them, this is the control panel to the curve. They charged me 40 bucks extra for a dedicated four-way cut. Isn't it beautiful? It's amazing, right? Now I gotta wait for them to send me a control panel. So this now will be my little bullshit test control panel. I'm basically gonna put the start, the coin, and uh, the joystick. And I just wanna see if this will register four players. So quick update, I'm scratching this idea. I, I, <laughs> uh, and the, like I said, you'll stay tuned for the um, the GRS, I guess, update review of those pedestals. I'm not going to film all five of them because they're basically the same exact thing. Um, it's been a long time since I used GRS and they've changed drastically. Um, I did get the, the, the arcade button kit, which gives you the two joysticks and the 20 buttons. And usually in the past, they gave you Zinmos. Now they've changed it, it uh, um, I'm not a fan. Uh, basically, what they did is that they now do the SJ at JX encoder boards, which is fine. I usually get the Zinmos. Um, my gripe, my issue I have is the buttons that they're using. Again, usually the non-concave buttons, it was a regular arcade button, kind of, you know, regular standard. Uh, now they send these out. And not to mention, they sent me an LED one. The rest are non-concave. So now I gotta message them on this. Um, another thing I did request, <laughs> let's go inside. I requested like the player one starts, like the, the figures, like the figures, the artwork, you know, the art on the start button. And they sent that to me. That's a regular arcade button. But these encoder boards, <laughs> the end of them, which is god awful is these very tiny spade connectors for this bullshit. Uh, yeah, these tiny spade connectors are not gonna work with a regular standard micro switch arcade button. Me as an arcade builder, I have all the parts. I could just change the spade. As a customer, good luck. This is anyway. Back to this. <laughs> Real quick, I basically just have the two encoders plugged into the Pandora box, and I, I haven't tested it yet, but I'm actually happy that. I could see player four or three goes up and down along with this here. So I'm gonna launch Simpsons, that's usually my main go-to. Also player one, player one navigates, but not player two. Uh, so we're gonna just see that. Again, my main thing right now is I wanna see four player games work. So let's launch the Simpsons. Uh, I'm gonna most likely, you know, cut because of the audio on it. But again, so far it's recognizing four joysticks. Uh, so I'm just more anxious to see if this is gonna recognize it. So uh, we got, you know, Marge. I got Homer. Let me pause because I got this now. So I had to go back into the settings and actually enable three and four. 
Um, it was set to one, two, three, four as game pads, but it has to be set to three and four as game pads. So I'm actually happy I got player three, which is Bart. Now we're gonna try to bring in Lisa, which is player four. If I just jump the right things, hold on. I'm gonna get it, relax, let's see. There it is, good, perfect. Awesome, we have four player action working with this. I wanna make sure that Bart could punch, let's see. She's jumping. And the attack, got it. Okay, sweet, awesome. All right, that's what I need. Then if I go to coin and I put this here, I bring in Homer. Awesome, yes, we do have four players working. Lisa, Bart, awesome. Okay, yes, I will make it official. This is the Pandora Box DX Killer. Uh, now, how can I, oh, there you go. <laughs> it is the killer for it, awesome. Uh, again, uh, I haven't tested besides the Pandora Box DX if four players work. This is definitely it. I would now make the call on it. I'll run one more game just for kicks. We'll do maybe Ninja Turtles. Um, I'm happy to see that, but I'm not gonna get too excited just yet. We're gonna try to see games, cause uh, I think that was my other little issue. Basically, if I went to go look for, I don't know, Mario, the same Mario game showed up like four times. So let's not jump the gun. Um, Player two, good. Uh, again, I'm basically just taking the encoder board and I'm just taking a screwdriver and I'm just jumping the wire. So, good. And I'm basically taking a gamble. There it is, good, awesome. This is it, solid. I'm gonna do one more thing and I'll mention one thing before the video ends. I'm gonna test it here. My only one little thing, if you do go back on the Pandora Box DX build, I had this issue where if the Pandora box is powered on before the monitor, uh, shit hits the fan. <laughs> so let's just see real quick if I could just bring in player three. There he is. Awesome. All right, sweet. At least I'm happy to say now I do have a new four player system set up, whatever you want to call it, 26,000 games. Great. I'm very happy this is good. Now, let's look at the actual games. I'm not gonna go through all the games. Uh, you know, hopefully, maybe this distributor or whoever, um, you know, they'll actually make a video. Press player one, start to return. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna go through. I mean, I'll, if you anything, you'll just have to pause and slow down the video. But uh, again, 26,000 games is a ridiculous amount of games. My issue on this, like in the search function. It doesn't break it down by system or emulator. Um, it basically says like, hey, you know, uh, fighting games, puzzle games. That's all it does. It's not really doing anything other than that. I'm only at 1800 right now. Uh, again, this looks pretty cool. What is Rock and Rage? <laughs> is that a four player game? I'm gonna launch this real quick. This is a new one. Rock and Rage. That's what's great with these Pandora boxes. Not in a set like, I really should say like even with multi-cades, um, you know, I've never heard of this game, but this looks bad. What, <laughs> what is this? This is awesome. It's only an attack button, that's it. It's a one button game. I got an apple out of this dude. Awesome, all right. <laughs> Add it to the stream, I have to do that later on. But basically, let's do a quick search right now. Let's do a very popular name. Let's look for my boy Mario, and you're gonna basically see what I saw in the quick 10 minutes of me initially opening this up before I made the video. All right, so here's like my dilemma. So real quick, we have Mario Bros at number two. Then there's another Mario Bros, number nine. Let's go right. We got another Mario Bros, number 24. I got another Mario Bros. Da, 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 da. Super Mario 6. Uh, Mario Bros. I'm, I went back to the left. Nothing, nothing. I got another Mario Bros. So, I like, I, th th and these are like, I'm still going. You can see the, the, the thing is, the, my numbers are still high. There's a, no, I'm looking at Mario Bros. That's what I'm looking for, right? 
Another Mario Bros. Let's keep going. <laughs> I lost count already. And how many Mario Bros I have. Super Mario War. I see another blue Mario Bros. So I, I mean, it's like six. Was that six Mario Bros that we saw? Let's do Dr. Mario. That's VS Dr. Mario though. Let's do it. So one, two. There's another Dr. Mario, but not VS. There's a VS. That's three. There's another Dr. Mario, not VS. That's four. There's another regular Dr. Mario. Five. Did I mess one up? Nope. That's regular Dr. Mario, not VS. Six. There's another regular Dr. Mario, not VS. There's a regular one. There's six. <laughs> let's make life easy. Let's go real quick. Let's do what I was hoping for, which was some Marvel versus Capcom. But um, I'm going to have to do this twice, actually, because of these Pandora boxes. They either don't use the word Marvel or they don't use the word Capcom. Um, they usually do, like, uh, superheroes or whatever. So let's see real quick. So we got Capcom. You got Marvel versus Capcom. SNK Chaos, I was very kind of, SVC Chaos, I was kind of impressed to see. Uh, Capcom Bowling, we got another SVC. We got another SVC. Oh, uh, Capcom SNK 2000. Marvel, I got another Chaos. You got another Chaos. So, if the trend is right, I mean, just looking for that 3D logo... One, two. So it's like six versions of one game and then two versions of another. That is basically how we're getting at 26,000 games. Uh, sad. What other one should we do? Let's run um, uh, Killer Instinct. That's a good one. That's usually a very popular one that I always get as a request. So KI. Again, like I mentioned before, when I get these, I never, 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 you'll never see it on my builds. I never use the buttons and the joysticks from these panels. Uh, they are pure shit. Uh, just the word killer? Killer is not there. Maybe it's one word? That's killer instinct, there's one. You got killer instinct, that's one. Two, same video. Uh, let's launch this. So I'm gonna remember the six and nine. We're gonna launch number six. Basically, when I exit Killer Instinct, it's going to bring me to the main menu and it'll show me what number it really is on the main menu. And then we're going to run number nine and we're going to see, is it the same exact freaking game? This definitely is, yeah, this is a uh, Super Nintendo, NES, whatever you want to say it. Don't flame me in the comments. Most likely Super Nintendo. So that was number six, right? Let's see. This right now, Killer Instinct is at 4848. Let's go real quick again. Look up the word killer, and we're gonna run the number nine. I said so. K I L L L L. I'm gonna fully type it out. I don't want to mess anything up. Killer. Good. We're gonna go down to number nine. Forty-eight, forty-eight. Let's see where this one runs into. Forty-eight, forty-eight. Then the duplicate happens. You know, maybe this might be at like four. 4,000 plus, let's say, 3,000. Maybe this is going to hit, like, 7. You know, 78, 88, whatever it is. But as you can see, again, same exact game. Bring it down. Exit me. Let's see where we land. 8, 3, 4, 8. If we did some math and, like, you know, I cut away and I kind of figure it out, you can basically find out, I, I mean, I'm assuming, you can basically figure out exactly how many games there are. That's how I just said to you the 7, 3, 5, 8. Let's just say it was really 3,000 games. That before was 4848. This one now went 8348. So you would find a difference on that and such. So let me do that real quick. Thirty-five hundred. So 
Uh, is what I'm saying correct? If you're not getting me, then you're, I'm probably not saying it right or you don't really understand me, but basically it's really 3,500 games times six. <laughs> now, like another one, for example, that I know that is on my Pandora box, 18S Pro, and I don't think it is here, but it was Mario Kart. I know my, um, my Pandora box 18S Pro has Mario Kart. So if I just go to the word cart, uh, it's got, uh, my, my 18S Pro has the Mario Kart 64. So this, look at that. There you go. There's three, four, five, six. There's six. What is that? <laughs> we'll load that up. There is six Mario Karts. Six. Let's see real quick. Let's do the math real quick. If I do 26,000 games divided by six. It's about 4,300 games? What is this? <laughs> I think also that was another thing I noticed that this does have, um, I guess you call it hacks. What would this even be? This is like, this has to be like NES. <laughs> I don't even think this is SNES, let's see. I can tell right now. Oh no, it is SNES, Super Nintendo, because it is a five button game. Oh no, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. No, I'm sorry, it's not. It's a four button game. So it might just be the NES. Did the NES have shoulders? It's probably Super NES. Next. Again, the one thing that I noticed right away was that this did not have Marvel vs. Capcom 2. That's when I real quickly went and I put like a request in for a refund on this. Um, look, it looks like I'm in like a clone area now. Super Contra, Super Contra Unlimited Life. Uh, yeah, I don't want to bore you guys. I don't want to waste your time on it. But yes, 26,000 games, it's not there. <laughs> now again, been crazy, excuse me, from not knowing NES and Super NES for the fucking haters. <laughs> um, but yes, there's just, there's so much. I'm right now, what I basically discovered right now, I'm at like number... I, once I hit like 25,500, I start getting um, like hacks. Uh, Hudson's Adventure and then there's a one with infinite lives. Invincible Mold, Bullet Plus, Invisible Boss Version, uh, Chippendale. Like two, uh, this is, I, I, I can't put my finger on what console is what, but uh, yeah, this is a... Uh, this right now, again, if you're in the market for a Pandora Box DX, if you need something like I build, where it's a four player, the I would say the cheapest four player game option, which I get requested a lot, um, it would be this. I would bump up to this. I would just tell customers, listen, it's 26,000 games, but in reality, it's probably closer to like four or five. Now you gotta go, and that's the worst part with these, that you gotta kinda sit and then kinda hide games. I wouldn't delete games. That's also another thing that I noticed in this versus my 18S Pro, this does not have, um, I'm gonna just pause it, but basically this, this does not have, I'm talking over the song. This doesn't have um, an option to go online. There is no market online. So yeah, let's make sure we get out of that before the music copyrights me, good. <laughs> That's it. Basically the one last thing I wanna do is that I do wanna do um, I'm gonna power this off real quick and again you could see what I'm gonna do right now I've done this this is uh, this was kind of like the one thing about the Pandora box DX basically if the screen is off if I have the TV off um, you know people that they have these you basically flip the switch on the arcade cabinet and then everything powers on but the Pandora box powers on before your TV totally turns on so I have this issue where the DX just gives you an orange screen so you basically have to turn off the Pandora box, which I put in, a, it's a secondary switch I have on it. So right now I'm gonna let the Pandora box fully boot. I'll give it a couple of minutes, uh, not a minute, I'll give it a minute or two, and then I'll turn on my TV. Um, but yes, there you go. Uh, don't believe the hype when you see 26,000 games like I did. Um, it, it, it got me. <laughs> but luckily, you know, the customers that I have for these, they know it's the 8,000 games. Um, I, as you can see, I like to test. Uh, just right now though, it's kind of crunch time. 
Uh, I do have about a week and a half until Christmas. I do have the shooter cabinet coming up. That's gonna be great, great. I'm, I'm very excited for that. You guys kind of saw a little bit of it. Um, that one's fucking gorgeous. <laughs> All right, Pandora box is on. Let's make the official call. I'm gonna turn on my TV. And it does turn on, awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah, if I have anybody that wants a four player Pandora box build, I would jump on this one now. Again, as you can see, this is the Pandora Plus on the cabinet here, it's Arcade 30S. When I did it on eBay, it was the Pandora Box 30S. So, there you guys have it. 26,000 games, no. No. <laughs> Stay tuned for more, you'll see the GRS rant that I have coming up, and uh, yeah, happy holidays.